everybody tonight? Yeah. Wonderful? Okay, I don't need the speaker for this. How many women out here are ready to get your big girl panties on? Yeah. How many already have them on? Yeah. All right. Uh, passed away, died from uh, metastatic breast cancer. And so it just kind of did something inside me. You know, I had been in the corporate world all my life, all my career. Uh, sales, sales training, sales management, um, all across the country, and it just kind of did something in the back of my mind, you know, and I thought, if I don't do something now, I will never, ever, ever do it. And so I took the leap off the ledge, I got my big girl panties on, and I learned how to do it, and I just went with it. So, let's get started. Let me give you my definition of a big girl panty player. I believe that just being a woman is a gift. I would much rather be a woman than a man in Just being a woman is a gift, right? All right, we are wonderful and unique creatures. We are all individually wonderful and individually unique. After being bombarded on television, magazines that tell us what a woman should be, we all see it everywhere. I've come to the conclusion that the definition of a big girl panty player is one that can look herself in the mirror and say, I prefer this. I'm okay. I'm really okay with it. What do our panties say about us? All right? Are you a Monday through Sunday panty girl? You know, I don't even know if they make those anymore. I can't. I was looking online for them, and I, and I found the one that said Saturday, but I couldn't find any of the rest of the days of the week, so I'm really not too sure. I'm here to tell you that just like panties, hidden problems, not visible ones, are the true enemies of becoming a successful woman. The first one I think is so important for us as women, and we were talking a little bit about that tonight. We need to listen to our bodies. We need to listen to what they're telling us. Listening to your body's messages is essential to maintaining balance and good health. Our fast pace of life, we're connected to everything. We're connected to cell phones, iPods, iPhones, computers, laptops, you name it, we're all connected. What this does is it, it presents an overload on our nervous system. Would you not all agree? Okay. So what happens in all the busyness and noise, we lose connection with the most fundamental signals okay, of life. The valuable information that comes to us through bodily sensations and our emotions. Practice forgiveness. When we hold on to anger, bitterness, and resentment, it depletes our abundance. You can heal your life by Louise L. Hay. She says, we hold on to everything in our cellular memory. We hold on to everything in our cellular memory. So everything that has ever happened in our lives affects our bodies. Practice love speak. I want you to read those, uh, those, those two sentences. Words have power in the law of compensation. Words have power in the law of compensation. We sow and grow and reap our words. Ladies, what we throw out to the universe is exactly what we're going to get back. It's called number four, show up authentically. For years, I was all things to all people. I was never myself. Never. When I was dating, and even when I got married, they liked baseball, I loved baseball. If they liked football, I loved football. Oh, I love football. When in reality, my favorite sport is basketball. I love the sport. Number five. And this is a big one. This is a big one, especially for successful women. Avoid energy vampires. I bomb the for energy. So, you know that person? It's all about me, 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 me. You talk to him, you have a 30-minute conversation, and 27 minutes are spent talking about them, and three minutes might be spent talking about you. It's a huge one for me because this is me all over.
become a recovering perfectionist. I want to grow my family completely. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay. All right. So, but I know in my past, my quest for perfection kept me from moving forward. I know that it did. So I've had to tame it. I also know it's not an easy beast to tame, but if you're like me and you can honestly acknowledge how much your desire for perfection is holding you back, it can often give you the motivation to just move forward and take action. Absolutely, absolutely. Volunteerism takes you out of your own head. It takes you out of your own head and makes you do what? Think about someone else or something else. <laughs> and learn to say, what is the big word? Learn to say, no. Become your number one priority. Me time. How many of you make plans every week to have your time for yourself is important for any woman? Making that time can be difficult, especially when we're balancing family life, commitments, work, and everything else under the big blue sky that women do, which is a lot. There's a favorite verse that I like to say at the end of every talk that I give. And it says, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. And it's by Neil Donald Walsh. I love this quote because it reminds me that to truly grow in all areas of my life, it's important to step outside of two years ago. We launched Kayla Women in 2008. I knew nothing, zero, about putting together an online magazine. Not a thing. I didn't know how you I didn't know where you went. I didn't know how you did it. I didn't know what you had to do. And I stepped out. Trying something new will always feel uncomfortable at first. It feels very uncomfortable. But real growth happens when you push your way through this, this discomfort and you're willing to stick it out and not retreat. We must resist the urge to go back to what's easy and instead do something to make the new experience a little more palatable tomorrow or the next time we do ears. We have grown to 60,000 subscribers. Process, not the result that gives our brain and our spirit the boost we so desperately crave. So today, ladies, I want you to get out there and try something new. Get out of your comfort zone and let the surprise of 